Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli. In today's video, we are going to understand how to create Go High Level contact from type form. So here, let's assume that I have a travel and tourism business and I've created a contact form by using type form. So here, my objective is that whenever that form will be submitted or whenever I will receive a new response, then by using the details, I want to create a contact in Go High Level. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I'm going to use this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So here my trigger application will be type form and my action application will be go high level. So if you want to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to create go high level contact from type form. So the idea here is I have a travel and tourism business and I have created a contact form using type form. Now I want whenever that particular form is filled, then automatically by using the details, that person should be added as a contact in my Go High Level CRM account. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I'm going to use this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So now as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you're a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and now to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as create go high level contact from type form. And on my left hand side, you can see these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as go high level and now I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. I will go to my trigger window and here I'm going to search for type form as my trigger application and here it is. And now the trigger event will be new entry. So this trigger will start working whenever there will be a new entry. So now moving to my action window. So in order to create a contact in go high level, I'm going to build a connection by using lead connector. So I'm going to select it. So now moving to the action event that will be to create a contact. So here you can see that as I've selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. My objective is that whenever there will be a new form submission, then automatically by using the details, a contact should be created in go high level. So to do that, firstly, I need to establish a connection between type form and public connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I'm simply going to click on connect with type form as I've already opened type form in one of the tabs. So here I'm going to click on accept as this is a secure access and the authorization was successful. So here you can see that type form and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So this here is the form that I'm going to use by the name of travel contact form. And this is how the form looks like. So now I'm going back to Pabli Connect. Here I need to select the form. So as the form name is travel contact form. So here from this drop down, I'm going to select it as travel contact form. So once I've selected the form here, I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see as I did that now it is waiting for response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the response can be captured over here and Pabli connect. So this here is my travel contact form which I have mentioned. So here I'm going to fill this form. So let me mention the first name as demo and the last name will be dummy. And here I'm going to mention a dummy email that will be demo dummy at the rate pablitudes.com and now I'm going to mention a dummy phone number here I'm going to select my country that is India so here I've mentioned the dummy phone number moving to the details of address so here I'm going to mention the dummy details for the address as well so here I'm mentioning the details and now moving to the country and here as you can see that I've mentioned the details I'm going to click on submit 
So this form submission has been done. So now here in Pabli Connect, you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive response. So here you can see the name of the form that was travel contact form. And here along with that, I've received some other details. So here is the response submitted date and time. So scrolling down to some other details, here you can see the phone number and here is the email ID. Here is the first name and the last name. So that means the test submission which I've just done is successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So the first objective of this automation is set up. That means now whenever there will be a new form submission, then automatically the details of that form submission will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So as I've got the details over here in Pabli Connect. So now by using the same details, I want to create a contact in Go High level. So in order to do that here, I'm going to click on connect. So now to add a new connection, I've already opened Go High level in one of the tabs and here I'm going to click on connect. And here you can see the authorization was successful. So here moving to the details of first name, last name, full name, email and some other details. So now I'm going to use a method named as mapping. So basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step. So as here you can see that I have received the response from type form. So I'm going to use this same. So now here from the response received, I'm going to mention the first name. So now I'm going to mention the last name. So here I've mapped the first name and the last name. Moving to the email part, again from the response received, I'm going to map the email. Here's the email. Moving to the phone number, so I'm going to map it. Here it is. So now moving to the address, so I'm going to map the address as well. So here, giving a space, I'm going to map the second line address as well. So here the second line address is this and I've mapped it. Now moving to the city. So here I'm going to map the city as well. And I've mapped it. Moving to the state. Now moving to the country. Again from the response received, I'm going to map. So here I've mapped the country. Now moving to the postal code. Again from the response received, I'm going to map it. So as you can see that I've mapped all of the details that I've received from type form. So this method of mapping is important because if I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static and it wouldn't have taken the new response which I would have received. So in order to avoid that problem, we map the information so that the workflow could run smoothly. If I would have mentioned it manually, then this workflow could have got stuck due to static information. So now as I've mentioned all of the details, so if you have got other details as well, you can mention it. But as of now, I'm going to leave them blank. And here I'm simply going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive response. So here in this, you can see the details. So now I'm going to take you to go high level and here in go high level in contacts, you can see that a new contact has been created. So here the name is demo dummy. Here is the phone number. Here is the email and here is the created date and time. So here you can see that a new contact has been created in go high level successfully on form submission, which was created by using type form. So this integration and automation is a successful one. That means now whenever there will be a new form submission, then automatically by using that form submission details, a contact will be created in Go High level. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.